What? I'm... Oh, this is going into a battle now. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, stupid. Oh, he's doing the wing. Do oh, you see his... Oh, man. His butt was clenching. He had the death throes. All right, like so. It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out can't even see me hanging out today doing stuff and things playing some arc survival evolved on the poopy evolved server hope you guys are having a good day i'm having a great day thanks so much for coming hang out with me in the thermal nuclear gurky if make sure if you like the video that you see today please don't forget to show your support and hit the thumbs up button if you're new and you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well so we're back over here we have tina the uh, Ch -ch 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 tina we have our beetles, and I was thinking today we might play around with these guys a little bit. We might try some stuff and things out with these Omega beetles to utilize them as a source of resources. In and about, in and abouts our base. Pardon me, our base area place here. Instead of using stuff and things like the Epic Forge, in which we could take metal of some kind and transfer it into the Epic Forge, and it's a thing. Why don't we also, I mean, we can utilize this as well, but why don't we also set up maybe a little bit of a pen and try to get one of these guys in it? I'm interested to see, well, this might be a huge, just terrible disaster and a failure, but I don't know if these guys will fit into a one by one space. I'm, I don't know, man, it's gonna be tight. I think that they might, we're gonna try it and we're gonna see what we can do here. Still don't have a way, the easiest way to do this would probably be to pick one of these guys up. We still don't have a way to pick them up or do anything like that. I don't think that's something that we're gonna have a way to do, but just check it out, Pete, for a second here. Let me show you what's been going on with these guys. I've had them sitting for quite a while, and it looks like right here, you know what I'm wondering? If we drop all of that, and we drop all of this, and we, whoa. Oh, it doesn't look like, that's weird, man. It doesn't look like they're actually recouping any other resources. It actually doesn't even look like they're on anymore. That's weird. Hmm. They're still on Wander. What does that have to do with their weight? Doesn't look like it. I just upped their weight a little bit. Maybe this isn't going to work out like I was thinking. My whole life. I, don't, I wonder why it's not working. I want to get some more to maybe play around them a little bit and see what we can do. Um, let's just go ahead and drop these two. Yeah, something's up with these guys, I think. Drop a bunch of this stuff, too. That's so strange. They're just not making anything. Nothing is happening with that guy now. Let's take a look here in C2. What I'd like to do is try to train them like we were doing with our arc factories so that they only craft, like, a certain thing. Like, for this guy, obviously, we'd only want cementing paste. I'm not sure if maybe they have, like, a finite lifespan or, you know what I mean? Like, their creation of stuff and things is a finite amount. Maybe I need to turn them off and turn them back on. Like, turn off wandering. Uh, let me see here. Let's disable wandering on this guy. He's just got... We'll put nothing in his inventory. Let's enable wandering. Let's put ag ass in. There it goes. All right, so it started up again. I wonder if you have to clear them out. Well... I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I think it'll be cool at the very least. So I'm not going to most likely take all of our stuff and things out. Like, I don't think we'll take out all of our epic forges. But to start off with, the real thing that we need to do is just get um, one of these guys out, which is going to be interesting, and uh, get him over into this area and see if we can build a little pen around him. That's the first deal. So I'd really like the metal guy. Let's go ahead and get Edward James almost to come over if we can. All right, we got him over here. Let's go ahead and pull this down. All right, come out this way. Can you even walk out of a one wide space? That would be a good, oh my God. I gotta tell you what, man, the follow mechanic just works flawlessly. Let's pick this guy up as he makes his 16 point turn to come out. Who cares if he can come out of a one wide space? It doesn't matter at this point. No, no. No. Paul, stay in there. All right, so let's pull him out. He should be on a low follow distance. Come here, homie. We're gonna have to open those manually. Let's pull him over into this elite type area place. All right, let's go ahead and disable wandering. We'll turn that off. Close those doors like so. All right, do we have any extra hot metal action inside of here? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I've got 
building materials right inside of here. This isn't obviously going to be like a huge build or anything like that, um, but it should work out pretty good. Also, I don't know if this is something that has changed in an update to S plus or not, but I've been using, I don't know if I've been using the resource pulling gun wrong or if it changed. I think it changed. I'm pretty sure I remember shooting a storage, uh, some sort of a storage thingy doodler. And then I was able to pull resources from that storage into my inventory. That's not actually how this works. What you can do is you click or you shoot a storage like so. And then we're going to take raw metal, for instance, in this case. Once the game stops being frozen. <laughs> and we can look at all of the metal in the area and I can take 50,000 of it from is that 50,000? Yeah from this arc factory and I could pull it into this inventory like so. So I don't believe that's the way the gun used to work. Um, I don't know, maybe I've always used it wrong. I don't think that that's been the case though. I'm pretty sure I was shooting the arc factories and pulling items out of them. This is way, way better. It makes way, way more sense. It's definitely a better way for this to work. It's actually quite exciting. Oh, weird. We're too far away from these guys now. Just that far. It's probably that seven block radius. So, anywho, so it's very, very interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and get some of the building materials. And I'm probably just going to off camera try to get one of these guys over into a little one by one pen here and see if that's actually something that we can, ac we can accomplish. Hey, we're back and it worked. Now, I don't know why these guys were shut off. I don't understand what was going on the shut off. It might be server restart or something to that effect. I think if I let me just see here, if I take this guy and disable wandering and enable wandering. That's all it took. It just needed a reset. So this is very interesting stuff and things. Which guys do we really want? We don't want yellow. We want green. We want purple. Uh, we want blue, right? And then orange is that. Yeah. So green, purple, and blue. For cementing paste, polymer, really blue. I don't know. Green, purple, and blue. I kind of think, what do we... Yeah, I mean, green, purple, and blue. I think would be the best. I think that's the best deal. I started trying to train him up too. I started basically just adding metal in um, and it works. I can just add the metal in, but with the amount of weight that these guys have, I don't know if that's going to be a concern. So basically I started taking metal out of this guy, which we had just squirted some into. So I just take like 17 or whatever, however much was in here. And then let me see if I can even show you right now. Well, no. So then I would squirt it in there. Basically when this gets to 5,000, it starts a new stack of just that metal. Um, and then we can get a lot more metal that way. It doesn't seem to be like a big concern. I'm thinking that that was from a server restart. So that's why that wasn't working. He is on wander, even though he's not moving at all. And um, what was the other piece I wanted to tell you guys about? Oh yeah, these guys can walk through uh, metal doorways. I was gonna put a metal doorway here so I could walk in a little bit easier. They will walk directly through metal doorways. So don't use any of those um, if you wanted to try this at home or something like that. And then you only need really a one, a, a one high uh, to go ahead and uh, wrangle them in, but I wanted to put a little bit of a too high thing in. I don't know why. It's just a thing. So we'll probably, and then uh, just to let you know, in case you were wondering what I did, let me go ahead and pull this one off. All I did was get the guy to follow me, came out into a this early type area, walked straight in. He came straight in behind me. I ran over the edge like so. The instant that he came into the pen, I hit an unfollow on you, and then I came over here and squirted one of those on top of there like so. That was it, baby. It was as easy as that. So I'm thinking, hmm, if we do have these guys full of metal, we really don't need these epic forges anymore. It's just not even going to be a thing, and which means I also might need to move my storage around because I'm thinking one, two, three. We need three of these guys because we need the green and the blue. I don't think, I don't know. Should we do four? I really don't need this much stone or five. Should we do all five? I don't think we need to do all five. Plus there's four little spots right here. It would be a perfect spot for four of these guys on this side and four of these guys on that side. And then maybe we could double it up over here and do four and four again. It would just be really, really cool if that were the case. So, uh, all right. So what's the next order of business? That means that we have to get some stuff and things going inside of here. Huh? Um, if we are gonna build more of these guys, I think I have one of each? No, 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 no. I have the Dodic, the Frog, the Beaver, and the Anki. I'm gonna have to write down which one's which because I can't remember off the top of my head which one's which. 
for the colors and the things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get all the Omegas together that we're going to need to spawn in. We're going to have to go ahead and start taming up some more of these bad hombres. And I'm going to get a bunch of them ready to rock and roll. And I will be RBs, peeps. Hey, we're back. I just got excited. I have an idea. I got to tell you guys about it. All right, so check it out, guys. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking about doing. We're going to put three pens here. Yeah, yeah. You know what we can actually start to build them right now while we're talking to each other. Three pens here. So we're going to have one here. And then here. And then here. And then inside of these, we're just going to put the three guys. We're going to put purple, green, and blue. So we're going to have metal, uh, cementing paste, and polymer. All right, so then over here, we will have these vaults, right? These little wall vaults that we have. And we had them over here. We had some in this area too. We've been using them all the time. And what we're gonna do is we're putting the three guys over here on Wander. Then every so often, I was shooting this earlier and I was getting it. All right, so then we'll come over here. We'll have metal, cementing paste, and polymer. And we'll go ahead and once that guy gets filled up, We'll shoot this bad boy right here. We'll suck all the metal, cement, to paste, or polymer out. We'll stick it into these vaults. The vaults have 150 slots. It's a perfectly humongous amount of each one of the resources. And then this way, what we're doing is creating a little bit of a mini farm thing. And it's going to be epically and amazing. Uh, we got we to gotta actually pull this. We don't need this anymore. Pick up solar panel wall mounted deal. The, the other stuff and things that looks like got destroyed. Or I never put it up. So we'll pull this out of here too. So, whoa, these vaults fell. Oh, weird. Do these have stuff and things inside of them? No, we just need to break these guys. So, oh, I had some that fell over here too. Oh, that looks cool. Well, oh well. So, um, we're gonna demolish these guys up, but it is pretty cool. And I took a second just to like rack my brain about it. It makes perfect sense which each one of the Omegas we're gonna need in order to make this happen. It's purple is Anki for metal. The green is frog for cementy paste and that sort of stuff. And the penguin is blue for polymer. So those are the things that we're gonna need to get inside of here. Uh, we need the frog matrix, cementing paste, polymer for the penguin matrix, and metal for the Anki matrix. We're just gonna make a bunch of those guys up. But I think this is gonna be really cool. We're gonna set one of these uh, on each side, here, here, and then we'll set some down over here. You know what we might actually do too? Now that I think about it, there's only five of them though. Hmm. We might set up a couple of the other ones too, yellow and green, maybe down by this end. Maybe we'll set up yellow, green, and purple down here just so that we have a little bit more metal. But yeah, I mean, basically, this is like a really great farming idea. It's so cool. And then because the vaults are close enough to these things, most likely and hopefully we'll be able to pull just about anything that we need out of these areas and over into these vaults. I was thinking about even doing something where we have vaults here and then more. So that if we had to pull stuff down the chain, we could. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with that. But I'm very excited about what's going on inside of the here. Now, this does mean that we've been using these vaults in here for storing certain stuff and things. There's nothing in that one, of course. But over inside of here, these sort of stuff, artifacts, different stuff and things like that. We got all these costumes inside of here. We have to move some of these guys. We'll probably just start to actually do something with the inside of this base. So we'll move some wall vaults inside of here so we have some storage for that, too. This is getting cool, man. I'm excited about what this is going to end up being. Um, it is going to be a little bit of work just getting all of the, um, all of those beetles tamed up and then getting them all back to base. Cause you have to have them follow you and all the stuff and things like that. But Hey, whatever. It's going to be awesome when it's done. So make sure I'm getting these vaults. Let's go ahead and demolish these guys down here as well. So now that I've conveyed my idea to you, I actually will go off and do some stuff with things <laughs> and I'll be our beast peeps and we're back. The deconstruction gun's not very good for picking up vaults. I have some really cool vault designs set up like this on the sides here. Just some nice little spots for stuff and things to go on. We might actually move our refrigerators to stick more. I don't know exactly what's going to happen over here. But all of our vaults have fallen to the bottom of the ocean. I haven't been down here for quite a while. I'm assuming that our vaults are still down here. We don't have any air. And I don't think any bad ombres spawn down here. So we might actually come down and deconstruct this pillar which is still here from when we initially built the base. And all of the stuff and things that I had in my chest, all my gear, all my costumes, like everything that we had is now at the bottom of the ocean. I have the DNA still, I have a couple of things still, but most of the stuff that we had is down here. So we've got to come down here and find it. I'm hoping that the vaults fall down to the bottom of the ocean, but yeah, I was trying to pick them up with 
the deconstruction gun, and I was making sure that, like, I was actually looking at it, the little HUD item for the vault came up, but, um, yeah, it disappeared. So, now I have vaults that are lost. They should be over here some... Oh, no. Seriously? I think they're... Are they gone? That means, like, all my gear is gone. All my stuff and things are gone, man. Ugh. Oh, man. I mean, we can... No, terrible disaster. We can get more? Did it really fall through the world? I feel like I almost need to test it to see if I'm just not seeing it or if it fell through the world. I ass I would think that it would fall down. I don't know what happens to a vault when it falls in water. Oh, man. We lost all of our stuff. Terrible disaster. But we'll just have to get it all back. We can get most of it back. I had... I don't know. There was just some structures in there. Yeah. I think I lost some costumes and some manticore stuff. Oh, is that it? Are you a thing? Did you see that? It was the trick of the light. Hey, we're back. Oh, we got a yellow beetle over here. I forgot about that guy. It was a random extra yellow beetle that I left over here in this spawn area. But we're back. But before we start to get into stuff and things, I wanted to take a moment. We did a little bit of weird building in the beginning here. But there was a couple of bionic dinos that I wanted to take a look at because... Nosebone is a good guy. He's definitely a great guy. I mean, he smells good. He's attractive. Codpiece is on point. There's some great qualities about Nosebone. But he doesn't do like a ridiculously massive amount of damage. Now, uh, also, he cannot pick up uh, the Beatles, which I'm wondering if the new Bionic RG or the Bionic RG can. So, the other day, SDK, we stopped. We have a Bionic RG. We haven't had one of these guys. For such a long time. We haven't had a, an RG of any kind. Let's see what kind of saddle we got. <gasps> what? No saddle? You don't need it? Okay, you don't need a saddle. I thought... Oh, he's slow. Oh, he's so slow. This is terrible disaster. So, I thought they all came with a saddle. And I don't remember seeing a bionic saddle requirement for this guy. We're probably going to need some sort of a saddle for him. I wonder if a regular RG saddle works. Or, I'm not even sure. Do we have any Argentivus? I wonder if one of these guys will work. Probably not, but let's go ahead and test it out. Maybe it will. The Ascendant Alpha Saddle. Let's go ahead and squirt this guy on. No. All right. So that's not going to work out for us. Maybe we just need a regular RG saddle. I'm not even sure. Let's squirt this guy over here like so. Let's go ahead and take him out real quick and just see kind of like what kind of damage and stuff and things he's doing. He already got a level, which I'm going to pump into speed instantly. I'm going to pump a couple levels into speed. So he comes to 77,000 HPs. And a thousand percent melee damage. We really want this guy for just kind of like carrying stuff. But if he's awesome, I don't mind using him as well. I doubt he's going to be as powerful as Nosebone. I have my serious doubts about it. But we can still level him up and pump his hot action. Did he just do 200 damage? <laughs> You're kidding me, man. All right. Let's see if he can even pick stuff up. Okay, he can. All right. We get a level 420x Dodo. Okay, we killed a level 420. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got some hot levels. We got to get the speed, man. We only got two levels out of that. All right. He's getting a little bit faster. This is not quite as bad. Let's go ahead. There we go. A couple more levels. Let's get a little bit of melee damage going. 1,400. Let's see what he's going to do to this Bronto. 200. 200 damage. There's no way. You're serious. This has got to be a joke. He's Bionicle. I mean, he's super low level. But he is Bionicle, is he not? All right. So maybe this guy will only be for carrying things. Uh, let me go ahead and pump some potions on this guy. We'll use these guys up. I'm going to max him out. And then we'll, I'll show you uh, what we get. I'll show you what kind of guy we got at the end. And we're back with the Bionic RG. Max leveled. Finally. Doing 15,000 damage. This thing... Is not a viable thing to do anything with. And I don't even know if it can pick up those friggin' beetles. So if it can, that's great. Because it will be a great utility piece. If we need to pick stuff up, we have an RG to pick stuff up with. It's one of the superpowers that an RG has. Um, I fought something over here and the beetle that we had died. So I don't know if we can pick them up yet. And we could go back to base, I guess. Uh, whatever. Let's be surprised later on. I'm not super impressed with this bionic RG. But we are going to be super impressed with what we're going to spawn in next. So far in Ark, probably modded Ark, my favorite thing has been the Manticore. 
And here we are going to spawn in this guy here. The Manticore! The Bionicle Manticore! Oh, it spawns in butt first! Oh, baby, what's going on here? Oh, where's he going? What the frick is that all about? He looks amazing! Oh, epic screenshot, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Thumbnail! Anybody smell a thumbnail? You know what I would love? Is if you would come down. Is that a possibility? Because you're following me? Could you come here? Could you follow me? A little bit? Are you... Doing things? That are like a manticore does? And we're back! On our manticore! Who does not attack while airborne. Really? It does not attack while airborne. Okay. Chink in the armor, Ted. The first order business is the first problem. This bionic guy does not attack while in the air, which is very, very odd. So you've got to land it. All right. He looks unbelievable. Left click. Right click. Oh, it does a little yellow deal. Ha <laughs> ha! One of those. One of these. And the C attack. Butt scratch mode. All right. So base damage, 22,000. More than the max leveled... Uh, Bionic RG, which is perfect. It's still not the most amazing thing ever, but we're going to see what we can pump him up to. Oh, you trying to run away? As we were saying before, we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, we have a base health statistic of 12 million. 15, 20. There's 50 million. What do you think about his movement speed so far, guys? I mean, I think it's pretty decent. Eh, or it could be kind of slow. What if we pump it up to like... Wow, that was a lot of levels. Wow, 200. What do we got? He's not doing too bad. I mean, that's not great. He definitely should be faster than that, I think. All right, let me go ahead and pump his melee damage a bunch. Oh, baby, look at it. Oh, baby. Wait, 4.2 million melee damage? You're kidding me. All right, hold on. What's up, Power X? 3.6 million damage. Oh, baby. That's what's up. And he's not even maxed out yet. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, let's go ahead and score uh, regen on this guy. He got some more. Oh, this guy's damage is ridiculous. This is going to be a new guy for fighting Omegas and Chiefs and all of that, I think. We'll have to see. I know Savage, by the way, I don't think I told you guys, Savage damage got reduced a little bit from 60 million a hit. So that's good. Oh, I can't believe you can't attack while flying with this guy. There's that guy gone. All right, sweet. I'm going to max him out. And we're back! 5.9 million melee damage! 5 million damage per hit, baby! That's what's up! Oh yeah, suck it all of the things! This is definitely our new guy for doing stuff and things. I'm totally psyched about it. Now, because he doesn't have a saddle, of course, he's probably going to take a lot of damage, so I'm not really sure exactly how he's going to stack up against other stuff and things. But it ain't going to be bad, that's for sure. Oh, look at all this, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I need to go farming XP potions. But um, did I happen to bring... Oh, I didn't. I got to go back to base and grab those Omegas. But we should be good to go now to kill a bunch, get a bunch of the beetles, test out the Bionic RG, see if it can pick them up, and then align them all inside of our base area place for a new type of generation of material stuff. And thanks. Hey, we're back. We have our first... Ugh. Uh, uh, what's going on, man? Where's the Bionic RG? All right, we got to think of this name, a name for this guy eventually. What's up with the weird lag? I think somebody's doing something. Someone else on the server, maybe. All right, so this is our first test. Can we use this pretty much useless RG as a tool to pick these guys up? Yes! Nails and Ace to Kami Stop! They have a use! Just bringing these guys from over here to up here. You know what? This Bionic RG doesn't have a use. I could just kill them right outside of this door. I don't even know why I built this guy. Well, I had high hopes, okay? I had high hopes that this guy would be cool. We'll squirt him over there. We'll squirt this guy over there like so. We don't really need this. We're gonna just gonna transport a bunch of these beetles over all at the same time. Uh, we'll keep them around just in case, I guess. Maybe you'll get a buff or something like that. And then I'm thinking, instead of fighting these guys so far away, the Manticore makes quick work of them. I mean, he hits for around 5 million. It takes him like three or four hits. So he's kicking their butts and uh, it's not really a concern, but we got to get a bunch more. I already had to kill two frogs. So um, just to get one of the beetles, because remember, if they take 
more than or more than one of the alpha species X kibble. I just don't bother taming them because they just take forever and ever to get hungry again. So I'll just kill another one and then we get one right way, way faster. But any so, so now we got to kill a huge amount of these, get a huge amount of the beetles. But I figured I would show you the test of the RG and see if that actually did anything worth doing. Stupid, stupid bionic RG. He's barely bionic. He's almost like an RG made of metal. A Margie? That doesn't make any sense. You want some? Oh, this is going into a battle now. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, stupid. Oh, he's doing the wing. Oh, 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 man. His butt was clenching. He had the death rose. All right, like so. And then like this. And then like this. And then like this. And then we kill it. Hey, we're back. All right, so trying to get all these guys in here. <clears throat> Getting a man is turning out to be fine. I've got these guys over here and I've got these guys over here and everybody's doing great. They're all making stuff and things. Everything is going good. But I did find a chick in the armor. Let's see if I can recreate it on camera. Over here, if I go to select resources, cementing paste, George the green beetle, this guy has 100,000 cementing paste inside of him. He's unbelievable and amazing. Now, if I try to grab some of it, I get nothing and I don't know why that is let's pull it all uh yeah why not nothing so I don't know why I can't get anything out of him one I can't get anything out of him but it doesn't work with everybody if we go to the green beetle that's over here we take 2,000 cementing paste actually we'll grab 3,000 like so we get it so I don't know why we can't pull it from this guy it might just be that we he, like He's close enough to be seen by the resource puller gun, but not close enough to actually have the resources be pulled. Not exactly sure what was going on with it. So maybe possible chick in the armor. We got to craft three of these guys and I have something else to show you. Something rather interesting that I've learned about the Manticore. The Manticore's tail attack deal, the alternate attack, does huge amounts of damage. Massively huge amounts of damage. I want to show it to you real quick. Let's see if we can't get him right here. And I'll show you. 47 million damage! It's unbelievable. Except, I think the ACA author, I don't know if he's done this on purpose or if it's just an accident. I can't, I, I can't. I may not like the Manticore anymore. I'm stuck under, behind a Manticore. He's got some sort of invisible stuff and things behind him. So anyway, I don't know if the ACA author did this on purpose, but I'm going to spawn one of these guys in. But one that ends up happening is when you attack one of these guys and do huge amounts of damage to them, they disappear. Uh, they just completely disappear. So I can do 5 million damage to it, but I can't do 47 million damage to it. It's just disappearing. So I don't know exactly why that is happening. Um, I hope that it's not something that is added in purposefully to make it so that the mod doesn't work with other mods that do more damage. Because... That's kind of the way that uh, Anunnaki Genesis went, and it turned into a huge problem. So there you can see he's disappeared, and his body's not here or anything like that. Like, I can't go down, and, like, he doesn't have, like, a ghost body. Uh, let me out! 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 I can't go ahead and uh, get down here and get a ghost body or anything. There's nothing here. So, I don't know how this is going to work out. But I got to tell you what, guys, I'm actually out of time for today. We're on our way to getting all the Beetle stuff and things going. I'm going to work on it. I'll probably have it done for the next episode. We figured out the Bionic RG is not very good. We figured out that the Manticore is pretty cool, except you can't get off of him. And he has weird invisible stuff and things behind him. But that's with every Manticore, not just this one. But he's so amazing and super cool. I'm so glad that we got this guy. And we got our Beetle deals almost finished up for the new base or the base redesign stuff and things. But yeah. Oh, look at that sexy pose. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make oh, make, oh, <laughs> make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support. Hit the thumbs up button. Oh, I'm not pooping. There we go. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. May the stuff of things be with you. <laughs>